everybody has an opinion about you and and then you feel like you need to please everyone when it comes to your business and then you feel like you have to be royal, loyal to your friendships but sometimes if you feel like you've got to move forward move forward with you, with everything else but doesn't mean leaving everything behind you're just moving forward and they're staying in your journey mm. um, and if if being stuck with certain parts of your life is going to slow you down just let it go let it go hi everyone welcome again to another episode of myths and minefields bringing you real stories and journey of entrepreneurs all around the world now today i have with me a very important and amazing guest elif kese she is a fashion designer and also a leadership coach and what does she do she empowers women through fashion and also organize events to help them unleash the leaders uh, the leader within them now elif kese hi how are you doing today Hi, thank you, Toby. It's really great to be here. Thank you for having me in your beautiful show. What a great idea. I, as you said, I'm a fashion designer. I have been in this industry now over 12 years. I am an expert in terms of not only uh, design and making, but I, because I've been in business from different um, parts of fashion, I have, um, I am also um, very good with fabric technologies and fabric qualities and and throughout my um, entrepreneurial journey I've started it as an alteration girl <laughs> on a bike it's um it has been a it has been a, a true learning journey for me so I started uh, my journey as, a, as a, an alteration person on a bike going into people's houses picking them up and altering their clothes for them um, then it followed opening my first kiosk then it followed opening my boutique where I was able to create my own collections um, I always say the trend is you to my customers you should be the trend yourself um, I've noticed they don't really design these pieces for real women because they are they're great for photo shoots. They look fantastic mm. on on um, printed uh, documents and, and websites. But when it comes to the actually wearing it every day, I mean, these are the women who work, who have children, who have families they are responsible of. Mm -hmm. and and some have very hard work you know mm -hmm. physical work so so when i design i design woman in mind so when it comes to empowering women i've noticed that when someone comes into my boutique after dressing in that right fitting beautiful clothes they walk out taller yeah. they feel confident mm -hmm. and that confident woman can do anything mm -hmm. so i noticed that their leadership skills were just coming out and they suddenly felt better and and the one thing in common is that that they want to feel confident, feel confident. So this yeah. is why i call it empowering because empowering. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i i believe that fashion has got incredible power over someone's feelings i sort of resonated with what you just said right now when you mentioned that when you actually see something in a magazine or maybe or an ad somewhere or, or clothing it's like oh wow that looks really great and then when you buy it and then you fit, uh, you wear it it doesn't look as much as you know uh, uh you don't get that same of feeling and empowerment right in fashion retail I've been fashion designer. I have worked with big manufacturing companies as their designers, mm -hmm. creating like thousands of pieces for bigger companies. Mm -hmm. So I know every aspect of fashion. I can make patterns. I can I can make wedding dresses. You can see one behind me. Um, but what I've noticed that um, people like the, the designs are not really designed to be 
worn and those photo shoots i mean i organize photo shoots for my collections every season uh, we i have two collections a year and always limited limited pieces i am mm. completely against fast fashion because mm. i'd like to give the choice to women who's going to wear it perhaps it comes from me as a young girl i didn't have much of a choice when it comes to dressing in the pieces that i wanted so i want to i want to take that and give it to the women who are today and um so i just i just want to i just want to give that to people so don't be fallen by because those photo shoots are photo shoots <laughs> they've yeah. been edited they use pins to make things look and make women's legs look longer and the waist yeah. thinner and and broader shoulders and they are not they are gorgeous mm -hmm. but even those women the, the models do know so this is why i always use real people in my photo mm -hmm. shoes some of them are my customers my best friends what would you actually actually say to someone that's still a little bit concerned that oh if i dress up would i be doing too much you know what is actually too much when it comes to fashion right we want to boost we want to boost people's in, in, in confidence but when does it become too much okay there is never too much there is no fashion police going around and making notes and taking you to jail because you were too much no one decides that i think that comes within our mindset limitations that mm -hmm. if i dress like this to go to that event people will think this so once you get to that mindset that's that's no right i mean mm -hmm. nobody is gonna tell you yes if they do it's none of my business what they think of how i look like mm -hmm. i don't really it's none of my business that will be rude of me to make a decision of what they should think of me mm -hmm. you know then mm -hmm. let go of that what is that one lesson that you want to give to people from your story and your journey what would be that one lesson Oh, it's it's, a, it's so many different little things that I would say, but uh, what I've noticed that um, everybody has an opinion about you, and and then you feel like you need to please everyone when it comes to your business, and then you feel like you have to be royal, loyal to your friendships. But sometimes, if you feel like you've got to move forward move forward with you with everything else but doesn't mean leaving everything behind you're just moving forward and they're staying in your journey mm. um and if if being stuck with certain parts of your life is gonna slow you down just let it go let it go don't stuck with your old friends don't try you don't need anyone's confirmation you do not need anyone's uh, acceptance you are who you are i don't need to ask permission to to do speak the way i speak i don't need mm -hmm. to ask permission you are the designer of your life mm -hmm. so make your own choices otherwise somebody else's will make it for you and it may not be you it's yes it's elifkose.co.uk um, and i'll also give that to you if you wouldn't mind sharing it with yes. your audience i'd love to connect with them definitely and Thank um you. your you are on facebook and instagram are you which one Most, are you? yes if you search elif koza boutique and elif koza boutique again on facebook you will find me and also the leader within you is my uh, my business um coaching uh platform where where you can find lots of nuggets it's a free group come and join uh if you search on facebook the, the leader within you um, we share lots of great tips and ideas and we bounce bounce um, ideas to each other. It's brilliant. Come and join us. Now on my website is everything that I do. That's tomiabibu.com. So if you would like to connect with me, you can do that as well. Thank you so much, Ellie, for joining us today on the Mixing Minefield show. It's been amazing. Hi, I hope you have enjoyed the show. Now, if you have, I want to invite you to like the video and drop your comments in the comment section and do not forget to click on the notification button so you know when the next video is coming up. Have a brilliant and a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe as well. Bye!